This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. and welcome to the Mayhem Underground, the show formerly known as... The Big Week War! That's right, I am uh, at Sorgatron on the Twitter, Mike Sorg, with you from the Sorgatron Media uh, Asylum uh, Lair um, um, Temple here in Pittsburgh, PA, and from the Poughkeepsie Temple, <laughs> Poughkeepsie, New York, it's Mad Mike Sorg. Um, I have a confession. Uh oh, I haven't been entirely honest with you. Oh no, what happened? Um, so you know how a couple weeks ago we heard that um, Aerostar hid the uh, gauntlet in a very safe place. Mm-hmm. That place was Poughkeepsie, New York. Oh no! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh no! The gimmick's carrying over from the other podcast. <laughs> and and I, I'm you know what um I forgot to get Johnny and Taya a wedding gift mm-hmm. so I think I'm just going to put this in a place where I know he'll find it hmm. the uh, catacombs of Slamtown in a PO I, I assume they have catacombs or the or the local PO box. Oh yeah, well, I mean, yeah, that's obvious. I love the there's amazing things happening with your camera because of the light. <laughs> that's getting weird. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, how do we do this show here, Mad oh, Mike? Sorg, you know how we do this show. We do it the same every week. Sorg, qual es tu palabra para lucha underground? Ah, that would be green. Ah, yes. Uh, you you could have said verde, which is green in Spanish. Verde. Verde. I thought that was a different color. Missy, Missy confirms the one that took Spanish class in college. I'm pretty sure Verde is green. She confirms. No, no, no. She's, she agrees. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going was, with it. I'm like, I, I took a lot of Spanish. Like, I, I took I took years of Spanish. Okay. Anyway. um, Mi palabra this week as. Love. <laughs> Love. Marriage. Love. Sweet marriage. <laughs> oh, God. Why didn't Famous be open with marriage? I kind of wanted to. I'm like, it's coming. It's coming. Like, I feel like, like and he kind of slipped into it, and it would have been fine. Marriage. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, well, well let's, let's, let's get to the damn thing, Sork. What was, what was to Bueno for the Lucha Underground this week? I love weddings. <laughs> Sorg, did you cry? I might have. There was a lot of, uh, there was definitely a lot of commentary during it, I'm sure. I always cry at weddings. Mm. And I'm not going to lie, when I watched Lucha Underground, I took notes for my own future wedding vows. Aww. And I don't know if they're going to really translate as well. But damn it, I'm gonna try. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, oh, the wedding was. There was a lot of green, Sorg. Mm-hmm. A lot of green at that wedding. But uh, side note, we got an Eminem reunion. We did. Holy crap! When Joey Wrestling, Joey Mercury popped up, that was that was the best moment. It, it was a, it was a genuine surprise, and it's just like holy shit. Wait, doesn't he still work for WWE? Yes. But I guess, you know, at that agent part, you can pretty much do that, right? I think so. I mean, he's not he's not an on-air talent, Mm-mm. so Mm-mm. it's not like we're still doing J&J security. So. Right, right. Now, I'm surprised they called him Joey Wrestling and not Joey Insert Different Planet, like Joey Uranus or Joey Saturn. That's right. But it, it was really nice. It was really nice to see him and uh, Mundo together. Right. That, that was pretty good. Like, it almost would have been cooler if they somehow scored the miss. <laughs> or, like, or, like, 
they got a present from Hollywood. Mm-hmm. And it was like, it's it's heavily implied that it's from The Miz because it has like an upside down M I like for Mundo. Like it could have, they could have done that. It would have been really a nice little nod, but I, I think they did great with it though. Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought the wedding was fun. The wedding was good. Um, it was cool to see uh, cheerleader Melissa. Mm-hmm. It, it, in all in all her glory. The crowd kind of ruined it, but uh, yeah, they they weren't the best on that. No, they weren't. They weren't. They weren't. They were. It's like no, she's cheerleader Melissa today. Please go with it. You accept everything else in this this group. There are no pigtails. No pigtails. Therefore, please don't husky Harris this shit. Yes. Yes. Damn it. <laughs> See, that's why normally luchadors have an advantage because they wear masks. Mm-hmm. However, truly, Melissa has very distinguishing characteristics. We'll say that. Also, her Wikipedia page. Well, all right. You know, Sorg. They know. They're wrestling fans. They know by now. <laughs> that's true. That's why you can't ever Wikipedia anyone from Lucha Underground. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, me bueno this week is gonna be the no moss match. Okay. Oh that was someone, good. That was really good. I I love their concept of the I quit match. Mm-hmm. Love it. It's really good. Um we got another obligatory F bomb. Yeah. yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, even though Stryker spoiled it, that it was gonna happen. Cause he knew it was gonna happen and he called it before it happened. Like when uh Exo is being choked. On the staircase. Mm-hmm. Stryker must have thought he said then when Exo just said no, like he wasn't going to quit. And Stryker was like, oh, I think you know what he said. He said F you. I'm like, no, he didn't. That's a that's a pretty distinctive voice that Exo Delicious has. We would have been able to tell. Right. Oh, by the way, I figured out who Exo Delicious is in my headcanon now. Hmm. I'm not sure if you saw us during my live tweeting. Uh, Sork, did you ever see Revenge of the Nerds? Uh, a while ago, yes. Uh, do you remember um, Lamar from Revenge of the Nerds? Not entirely, but... Exolicious is Super Saiyan Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> I need to connect that those dots together. Uh, he was he was the, uh, the gay individual on Revenge of the Nerds who threw the wobbly javelin. <laughs> it's been... I need to refresh my Revenge of the Nerds. Is yeah. that also on HBO? Uh, I don't know, but just just go back through the uh, the Mayhem Show Twitter feed. Look look for the look for the hashtag. You'll be able to find it because I put visual representation. Oh good, oh good. Yeah, but he, he's just Super Saiyan Lamar from Revenge of the Nerds, and I'm entirely okay with it. Oh, I'm I got it. I I, I just looked it up, and I, I have some pictures. Also, there's a great rappers in 2016 meet with him, apparently. Sure. Makes sense. Okay. Makes sense. He he did a rap in that movie. He was excellent. All right. Uh, but, Sork, not every show is perfect. We know this. Mm-hmm. Uh, follow us to Malo, Pada Lucha Underground. I would. The, the crowd. <laughs> the, the crowd. The crowd oh. ruining, ruining a, a special moment with cheerleader Melissa. Okay. All right. I, I think that's fair. Because usually they play along with everything else. Like yeah. they could said, you know, you know, don't chant Mariposa. We know and who she, she was announced as cheerleader Melissa, wasn't she? Announced as cheerleader Melissa. That's why I thought it was really cool. Because I think like behind the scenes, her and Ty are actually really tight. Yeah. Like I, I, I thought I remember seeing like when they had their actual wedding, like a bunch of stuff with her. Like I think she was in the actual wedding party too. Okay. But uh, yeah, I guess me Malo this week. I don't get Ricky Mundo's plan. Why? All right. So first of all, the plan is being told to him by a creepy doll that may or may not be inside his head. Yes. So so I, sound I plan. I did appreciate the doll was the flower girl. Yes. He was the ring bearer. She was the flower girl. I appreciated that. That was a very small level of detail, and I 
I saw what you did there and I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. But um, this was the first episode of Lucha Underground where we didn't have a murder. Wait, this season? Yeah. Really? Pretty sure. Hmm. Pretty sure. And I'm sorry. If you call out Matanza, there better be a sacrifice. You could have killed off Shirley and Melissa easily. You could have killed off Shirley and Melissa. Hell, you could have done a twofer at Shirley and Melissa and Joey Wrestling. Mm-hmm. Because neither of those characters are ever going to return. Um, are, we count- are we counting sacrifices as murders? Yes. Okay. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Vinny Massaro. That's right. Rest- Pizza. I don't know who's operating his Twitter account, but um, well, no, no, uh, he was asking about the afterlife, so I'm pretty sure it's still him. Okay, there's Twitter in what whatever uh, after the afterlife he went to. Yes, yes, there, there's Twitter, there, so it's okay, it's fine. By what, the way, whatever the afterlife of Lucha Underground is, that's where he's at. Yeah. By the way, um. All right, and again, this is going to talk about it all in for a second, but I have to mention it. <laughs> I have to mention it because we got we got responses from Vinny Massaro. <laughs> so um, I I forget who it was that tweeted. I believe it was um, Ashley, who's who we're friends with on the uh, twi- on the twitters. She tweeted that if Vinny Massaro doesn't come back to Lucha Underground with pizza druids what are we even doing (laughs) and i said he needs to come back with pizza druids hashtag rest in pizza and vinny vinny just responded oh god damn it (laughs) because he knows he wants that to happen Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) yes okay so anyway um so yeah, my uh, me Malo will be. I don't really get Ricky Mundo's plan because if you call down Matanza, you better kill someone. Yeah, yeah. And not ruin a cake and free tacos. <laughs> the tacos. Yeah, yeah. Props to Papa Cueto for catering the wedding. Yes. Props. That was nice. I, that was that, nice. That was a that was a magnanimous gesture from uh, El Jefe from El Jefe del Jefe. Hmm? Surprise! It wasn't pizza bagels. I was, I was, I thought there'd be free Modelo. Damn it! I want pizza bagels now. Mm-hmm. And Modelo. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah, it's right there. It's all right there. It's all rich tapestry. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Thorg, uh, do you have a combio for this week? What would you change about this one? What would I change for this week? Um, I would not have famous be presiding. Really? So you so you want Father Ricochet in a sling? I I think I think there could have been uh, other opportunities there. Okay, who who would you who would you put then? Oh, who would I put? Like, well, ideally, um, Eric Bischoff as the guy Eric Bischoff was playing <laughs> during that one wedding. I know it's not realistic, but then again, Johnny F and Mercury was on this show, so <laughs> I just remembered that makeup. That makeup was really well done. Yeah, it was. That aesthetic was really well done. Um, you know who I would have had if I could change who was presiding over the ceremony? We already have him. He's dressed in a Pope outfit. Vampiro. Oh, Vampiro. But it would have, it'd have to be like a book of Satan instead of a Bible? That's fine. That's fine. I mean, they're getting married under the seal of the ancient Aztec gods, that so, you know. True. Why not? Why yeah. not? Yeah, it's, it's, holy, to... it's holy to somebody. Exactly. Sorg, what matters is the commitment. That's true. What matters? The commitment, Sorg. <laughs> God. All right, um, if I had a combio this week, I I don't know what I would change about it, but the Jake Savage, Drago, and Aerostar thing still isn't connecting for me. Like, I don't know why we're doing this. Um, 
Jake Strong tried to steal the nunchucks, which you do not touch another man's nunchuck. No, you do not. That is a rule. Um, if this is leading to a nunchuck fight with with uh, Strong and Drago, I'm okay with it because I loves me a good nunchuck fight. Who doesn't? I mean, it's kind of a cornerstone of Lucha Underground. Absolutely. Um, I also would have changed the cake. I don't know. I feel like chocolate cake is more appropriate for them. Hmm. I would have given, um, I would also given Taya a little bit more offense on Matanza. I know Matanza is supposed to be a super monster, but you are fucking with a bride on her wedding day. I was gonna say if if Taya got like you know like when parents can lift a car to save their kids, yeah. like mm-hmm. I think there's like a bridezilla power that could happen because she's already Absolutely. badass. Absolutely, yes. I mean, well, even at the very least, have her kick him in the dick. Yeah, that, and then that would answer another question. But even if she just, like, went and body slammed him, and then he pops right back up because he's Matanza, right? I, I did appreciate... there. Was, all right, let's go back to the wedding for a little bit. There, <laughs> are, there are a couple of little things I appreciated. One, Taya was essentially wearing her ring gear with a skirt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it was tear away, too. Okay? Secondly, his full name... Is John E. Mundo. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Cut the gate. Let's get out of here. Let's do lunch. That's fucking perfect. Thirdly, putting the slam in Slam Town. I mean, come on. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, lastly, I keep forgetting that. Yeah. Um, oh, damn. Uh, Black is like has an accent because when's the last time he's talked wait who oh pj black yeah, yeah. pj black oh yeah 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 because he's like south african or something isn't he oh yeah yeah, yeah. He's, he's well he talked in the back of the backstage segment and i think he's just nodded and gestured for the last season of lucha underground and i forgot uh-huh <laughs> and so it just and so there was like a little bit of a double take when that was happening it was just like an an extra thing so I love that we brought back the uh, the air guitar solo, mm-hmm. but Ricky Mundo's air guitar was out of key. <laughs> mm-hmm. And he handed it over to uh, Johnny. Uh, uh, yeah. Joey, 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 Joey Wrestling. Joey Wrestling. <laughs> uh, there's, there's just so much to love about Lucha Underground. There really absolutely, is. Absolutely. Did they announce anything for next week? I forget. I can't remember. I, I know we've said that John, the uh, Johnny Mundo's getting a world title match. Yeah, but you feel like he's gonna just throw that away and try to fight Matanza or something, right? That's what I would assume. Yeah, yeah. but um, who knows? Uh, but yeah, Lucha Underground was pretty good. I like that we got to see a little bit more of the of the new temple mm-hmm. in the no boss match. That was really fun. Uh, but yeah. Oh, and <laughs> I love the the intro graphics that said um. Both Joey Wrestling and PJ Black were the best ish man. Like neither of them was the best man, but they were both the best ish man. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, it was good. It was I think- good. I can't I can't want to do that myself. <laughs> best ish. <laughs> oh, all right, so was there anything else you want to touch on about Lucas? Nope. It was a good show, uh, top to bottom. A lot of fun, as usual. I, I, I'm curious to see where we're going to go with the creepy doll. If, uh, if uh, 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 you know, he becomes a force or not, who knows? All right. If the creepy doll, if the creepy doll takes sentience, who do you want it to be? If it becomes a person, uh, because I have an idea, oh. and it's someone that we haven't seen. Yeah, who is in lucha? You think? Creepy doll completely becomes Chelsea Green. That's what I'm thinking. I I, I think I I was well, as soon as you that's said that I I was. What I'm thinking because holy shit that would be awesome. She'd be an amazing creepy doll. Yes, uh-huh. producer Missy off mic. Hashtag hotness. What's that? Of Chelsea Green. Of a reincarnation of who? The brother? What brother? Dario, you you want the creepy doll to be Dario's reincarnation? 
Huh. What if we found out there was a sister? Sister? <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, Sister <laughs> Abigail. That's where she went. Sister Abigail. Oh, God. Oh, uh, all right. I think we've we've picked apart this uh, Lucha Underground enough. Oh, and one one last thing. I want Joey Ryan, Ivelisse, and Exolicious to be a trios. Makes sense after this week. I want it. I want it really badly. Mm-hmm. I th- I think it'd be awesome. Makes a lot of sense because we do need some new trios. Yep. So I I think that's where we might be going with it. Awesome. Well, um, Mike, there's a lot going on. Yes. And uh, if you guys want to check out a guy that uh, definitely resembles Son of Havoc in his early days about 10 years ago uh, on PWO, Pro Wrestling Ohio Television, it's part of our IndieWrestling.us network you can get over there. Seven-day free trial to go check those out. Check him. Uh, I believe he he has a match with one Johnny Gargano, so whoever that might be. Uh, guys like Gregory Iron, like like Johnny uh, Gargano. He's the brother of Joey Wrestling, right? Yes, Joey Wrestling. Yes, exactly. Uh, <laughs> and their father? Mr. Wrestling. Exactly. Uh, go check that out at IndieWrestling.us. Also, a lot of great stuff, including a big cage match happening this weekend at RWA Aggression. It's on pre-order right now as of this recording going up Tuesday. And so much other fun, fun stuff happening there. Mad Mike 483 on the Twitter? Yes, and you can catch me when I live tweet Lucha Underground. Hopefully this Wednesday night. Uh, go to at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM. If not this Wednesday night, then definitely I will announce when it is happening. Fantastic. I still return on the Twitter. And please subscribe if you catch us anywhere else on the uh, podcast feed. Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed is where you can find this, our raw wrap-ups, and the rest of the wrestling awesomeness that we do around here. Thank you so much for joining us. Until uh, next time, uh, this has been the Mayhem Underground, formerly known as... This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.